Well, anyone with symptoms of cancer is being urged to contact their GP today after NHS England revealed there's been a 70% drop in the number of referrals since the pandemic was declared. A network of COVID-free hubs has now been set up across the country to make sure those who need urgent cancer treatment will get it. Our reporter Lucy Conn has been to see how one of them works. We've got two different trusts operating. We've got Joanna Franks is a consultant breast surgeon. In normal times, she splits her working week, looking after NHS patients at University College Hospital in central London and private patients here at the Wellington Hospital in North London. We have a 57 year old lady with a right sided small screening uh, detected cancer. We're performing our... Now, because of COVID, her NHS team have relocated their entire service here. We have a series of theatres. They would ordinarily have gone to sleep in the anaesthetic room, but now they'll go to sleep in the, an in the actual main theatre. It's a little bit variable depending on the complexity of each case. So we have to think about how long each case is going to take and that we need to safely recover the patients. Some of that time now has to be in the operating theatre. UCLH and the Whittington are doing breast in theatre three. In theatre four, the Royal Free are doing breast. And in theatre five, we have got skin cancer being done by the Royal Free team. It's one of 19 COVID-free cancer hubs. Alliances between the NHS and private sector now up and running across England. Excellent, and I've checked the COVID swabs. They've all come back. They're all negative. And they make sure it stays COVID-free by testing every patient for the virus before they're admitted. Welcome, everybody. So, Ben, are you going to take minutes for us? Joe has weekly meetings with colleagues from the other hospitals in the Alliance to decide who they can realistically treat. Patients are prioritised according to new national guidelines and difficult decisions have to be made. For some patients, it is very clear that they need to have time critical treatment and those patients will be put forward by their MDT to be discussed for prioritisation to make sure that they're going to get an operating slot. Three weeks ago, during coronavirus COVID-19, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Corrine is still coming to terms with her breast cancer diagnosis. She's not a patient at one of the hospitals involved here. If we weren't in COVID, I know that I would be um, on an operating schedule and have a, a date for a mastectomy um, with reconstruction. But because of COVID, everything is on hold. The BBC has been told of patients across the country who haven't been given surgery or treatments like chemotherapy because of COVID. One nurse has said that the treatment options are so limited at the moment that she's seen a dramatic increase in the number of patients having mastectomies without reconstructions. NHS England say essential and urgent cancer treatments must continue, but that all decisions made have to be balanced against the risks posed by COVID. Future Dreams is a breast cancer charity who've partnered with the hospital here and 13 other NHS trusts to provide an aftercare service for women who do have surgery. It is complicated for a breast care nurse, so we're ensuring that she has everything that she requires to give a patient from the post-surgery bras and the comfies for the drain bags, for the headscarves, so they feel that they can give their best to their patient in a very traumatic time. Oh, I was diagnosed on the 12th of uh, February. By the uh, end of today, uh, Joe and the team now working here at the Wellington will have operated on a hundred of their NHS breast cancer patients. One of them was Anne. I wouldn't have been at all comfortable seeing anyone else. It was so important to have the UCLH team. I'm familiar with you. Um, I'm confident with you and uh, to be able to, to have you come over to the safe environment of the Wellington just made it possible really for me. People really shouldn't hesitate. Uh, they are safe in coming into hospital um, and uh, if they wait until there seems to be a better time, uh, disease can advance. So, Lucy Conn, BBC News.